Natasha Files started her political career as a self-effacing young mum. The former PE teacher who joined the Labour Party as a teenager was elected to NT Parliament in one of Darwin's most left-leaning seats, Nightcliffe, in 2012. As opposition health spokeswoman against the former country Liberal Party government, she became known as a capable NT Labour Party frontbencher. When Labour took power in a 2016 landslide, she took on the difficult portfolio of alcohol policy. Moves like reinstating the banned drinker register to stop problem drinkers buying alcohol were well received. We have seen the Northern Territory's cases rise. When Covid hit Australia in 2020, she stepped up as Health Minister, responding quickly to Indigenous community worries by closing borders and limiting deaths in the Territory. She also opened Australia's National Pandemic Quarantine Centre in Howard Springs. Although Labour had another confident election win in 2020, the shine with voters was fading. Chief Minister Michael Gunner resigned in July last year, leaving a void for Natasha Files to fill. What do we say to fracking? In the year and a half since she took power, a number of unpopular decisions have flipped community sentiment against Ms Files. Her decision to green light gas fracking in the Beetaloo Basin was controversial, both in the electorate and within her own left faction of Labour. Her government also came under sustained national criticism for allowing remote community liquor bans to lapse, prompting a surge in alcohol-related crime and violence. Community anger reached fever pitch over a prolonged spike in crime, not helped by forcing the NT Police Commissioner Jamie Chalker to resign in April. In September this year, Ms Files was allegedly assaulted by a constituent, who then received flowers outside court. But it's been her support for gas and mining on the national stage, while being accused of conflicts of interest she denies, that started her undoing. Last month, she divested 169 shares in Woodside over concerns it presented a conflict with the multi-billion dollar new industrial precinct she's pushing for on Darwin Harbour. Earlier this month, it emerged her political adviser, Jared Richardson, co-owns the lobbying firm for Beetaloo Gas Company, Tamboran. Rejecting calls for health investigations into mining dust coating Groot Island while holding 754 undisclosed shares with the mine's owner, South 32, gave her the final push. With the health system in crisis and crime rates continuing to climb, Natasha Files' legacy as leader and health minister clearly contains highlights and some dark patches. Jane Barton, ABC News.